And you should feel beautiful in your hijab, but you should not feel sexy. And that's a different concept. That's a different concept altogether. And that's ugly, and that's seductive, and that's harmful. Seduction as a concept is something where the person who is seeking to do it is seeking to control someone else's behavior. It's not goodwill. Goodwill comes from a desire to give and let people be good and uh, to be in a good state and it's consideration. It's, w it's wanting them to be safe. It's wanting them to be protected. That's goodwill. Seduction is I want this person to be affected by me in a way where I can control you know, that interaction. As an example, I like to use sometimes with young people is in the movie Lord of the Rings. Um, what does the elf queen, what is it Lady Galadria? What does the elf queen say when they put the ring of power, when Frodo puts the ring of power in her hand? What does she say? Essentially, the ring represents the voice of shaitan, right? The, what, is, what, is, what is for sisters, what is our enemy telling us? What is our enemy tempting us with? Tempting us with? I want all men to look at me and despair. That is the voice of shaitan. It's seduction. And it's, it, it comes from needing to have power over other people. And it is not even like a more, I mean, a, a, a more benign intention would be to, that a sister is, just wants to get married and have a spouse. That's a benign intention. But this is, I don't even care about you, but I want you to be desperate for me. That is evil. That is, the, that is, that is quintessentially evil. Um, and that's, you know, a society that's, again, the Western society really promotes the culture of seduction. And it promotes the seducers, you know, that so-and-so can be this, you know, they're so powerful because they can do this, this female actress or that male actor. And we are the opposite. We have a completely different paradigm. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said that every religion has a distinct characteristic and the distinct characteristic of Islam is haya. So again, haya coming from goodwill from actually not wanting to harm creation, from wanting that creation to be at peace with, it, with its brother and its sister. And that doesn't mean that if a person, again, because everything has to be, this is like a very you know, thick topic, it, if, a, if someone is not intending to be seductive and someone else is attracted to them, that's not your fault. And in Islam, uh, being beautiful is not a wrong intention. So, uh, that Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. Beauty is a, a very important spiritual concept in Islam. And a man or a woman can and, can, can and should feel like before they leave the house, they should look presentable. They should have a beautiful appearance. There's nothing that is wrong with this concept, but they should never intend seduction because seduction is harm. And we have to separate the two in a society that doesn't separate the two. And we have to separate the two even in Eastern cultures that don't separate the two. All right. So you separate the two in that every morning a sister when she's wearing her clothing, she should feel beautiful. Even with hijab, even with, you know, hijab is not about covering beauty as we call it. Hijab is redefining what beauty is. Hijab is saying, I'm going to be, I'm going to do what is beautiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so you adorn yourself with clothing that is beautiful. 